This is a mosquito bat. So many people asked me through personal messaging and through comments that how to convert this into a rechargeable one. Earlier I have made a video of converting a 3 volt radio into a rechargeable one. But it was using a small battery. Mosquito bats with a rechargeable one are using nickel cadmium battery or nickel metal hydride as their rechargeable cell. This mosquito bat is using two 1.5 cell as its power source. So our plan is to convert this into a rechargeable one using a lithium ion battery that is 18650 battery. The existing battery will run for one month but the battery we are going to fix will run for one year. So that means per charge one year. This is having very good ampere. Very long back I have already converted another bat with the rechargeable. I will show you that. This is a big bat. I will show you the size difference with the other one. You can see that this one is actually a big one. This was a rechargeable bat with the nickel cadmium cells. The cell became damaged within 8 months of use. At first what I did is converted it into replaceable 1.5 volt cell by fixing the battery socket outside. I used that for 3 months. Later I replaced it with the lithium ion rechargeable battery. I cannot remove this battery socket from this bat because it was fixed using heavy bond glue stick which, was, which is used for fixing uh, the metals. So that is why I fixed the rechargeable battery on top of it and fixed it using a wire tie and I have used a uh, BMS for recharging the battery and this bat was working fine for the past 3-4 years. In between I have charged this for uh, 4 or 5 times only. Whatever I am telling is the truth because when you are charging the battery you connect the charger then within 5 minutes the blue LED will light up which means the battery becomes fully charged within 5 minutes. If you feel that I am telling a lie then what I suggest to you is to make this as yourself and realize the truth and then only come back and like this video. I will show you the spark power with 1.5 volt battery. You cannot see the spark because the studio is having very good brightness and also fan is running with a pretty good sound. I will switch off the studio light and also the fan and I will show you the spark once again. Please listen carefully. Since this mosquito bat is using two 1.5 volt cell, this is having very less spark. But we are going to replace this with a 3.7 volt 18650s battery with a good ampere rating and the spark will be powerful. I will show you that in action. We are not going to use this battery because this battery is having 2600 milliH capacity. We don't need to spend this much uh, costly battery for this purpose. So we will. I will check my inventory uh, if 1200 milliH battery is available we will be using that otherwise we will be using 2000 milliage battery. The, this one you can see it, it is written as 2500 milliage but in reality it is having 1200 milliage only because this type of cheap battery they will be writing very huge ampere in their wrapper but in, uh, but in reality it is having very less ampere. That battery also lasts for one year with uh, three or four charging cycle that means three or four five minute charging cycle. My current plan is not to open this mosquito bat instead of that I will solder the wires directly to the battery terminals. I will try my level best to do that if not possible then I will I can unscrew this uh, these things uh, that is there, there are three screws available here in this bat or uh, by unscrewing these three I can open it and solder the wire directly to the place where the existing wires are connected to the battery terminals. It will be pretty easy I, uh, that's that's what I feel so what I, I will do is I will open this uh, uh, the, this mosquito bat. When I checked my inventory I got this 1200 milliH battery. This is written as 2500 milliH but the, in reality it is not 2500 milliH battery. It is only having 1200 milliH uh, uh, capacity. We will use this battery here. Now we need a BMS for charging the battery. For that we will be using a charging module with the TP4056 chip which is very cheap. 
and there are two types of uh, TP4056 uh, charging module available one with the micro USB and the other one with a type C because nowadays almost all mobiles are using type C as their uh, char uh, ch charging port so if you really want to use type C then you can make use of type C type uh, type C TP4056 charging module otherwise you can use a micro USB this uh, type C charging module is having a bit higher higher cost than uh, that micro USB type. So I will be using this micro USB for this purpose. This is because we are going to make this with very less cost. In my home we are using this mosquito bat very carelessly. So don't spend much on this one. Now we will open this mosquito bat. the wires connected to the battery terminals the red and black one if you cannot see I will zoom a bit more uh, now you can see clearly so we will parallel connect two more wires to, uh, uh, from this battery terminals that is from positive and negative lines now please watch the circuit this circuit is actually a voltage doubler with a booster circuit and you can see it using a four capacitor with uh, four diodes that, that is a four capacitor with the diodes are normally used for uh, volt uh, used as voltage doublers i will make a video on that uh, that will help you to understand that and well now i will tell you the details about the uh, tp4056 charging module uh, you can see the these two are the battery terminals we will connect the batteries on the b minus and b positive and these two out minus and out plus those are the terminals we will connect directly to the uh, mosquito bats battery terminals the advantage of using this bms is it will protect the battery from overcharging and over discharging Another advantage of using this charging module is short circuit protection which means if you are short circuiting the output terminals this BMS will disconnect the battery from the load that is a plus protection for this battery and also this charging module can deliver maximum 1 ampere to the load that means if you are using a 2, 2000 milliage battery or 2600 milliage battery still this module will deliver only one ampere to the uh, load and also while charging at the initial charging this bat uh, this uh, initial charging the battery will be charged uh, charged with one ampere and it will reduce the current uh, when the charge is becoming full to the inside the battery altogether a cheap and efficient charging module for lithium ion battery we have soldered the wire to the battery terminals now we can close the mosquito bat the rest of the connections are at the outside so the uh, red wire is the positive uh, terminal and the orange wire is the negative terminal Normally we will use the mosquito bat by holding the bat like this. I am a right hander. So I will be using the holding the bat uh, like this. So when we can fix the battery somewhere here so that it will not block uh, while holding the bat with my right hand. Next is we have to fix the BMS. We will fix the BMS somewhere here uh, but we have to check whether the wire length is enough to uh, fix the BMS there. The wire length is not enough it is not uh, reaching the uh, soldering points so what then what we will do is we will fix the bms here this is also a good place uh, so we will place it using a double sided tape um, let us solder and fix it
I will zoom a bit more so that you can see how I have fixed this wires in the BMS. You can see uh, to the orange wire which is uh, connected to the negative terminal of the uh, mosquito bat that I have connected to out minus and the positive terminal that is the red wire that from the battery positive terminal inside the uh, mosquito bat that I have connected to the out plus. I have also soldered the wire to the both end of the battery. Before fixing the battery and BMS to the mosquito bat, we will test this one. Please listen carefully on the sparking sound. Since the studio is having very good brightness, you cannot see the sp sparking light. Now we will measure the voltage across the battery. You can see it is more than 4 volt. When it reaches 4.1 or 4.2 volt, the BMS will light blue, blue, blue color LED.
we will test the mosquito bat by switching off the studio light in my just previous video you can see i was getting a shock from the bat and it was happened when i was testing this <coughs> Be careful while testing this. I have removed the uh, tuser. Instead of that, I, I am now using a screwdriver. You can see while it is sparking, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, screw screwdriver is actually a tester. So uh, you can see it is lighting up. If the cockroaches are coming in between the mesh, I am telling you the truth, they will also be burnt. This mosquito bat is having very high power. If you believe that this video was useful, then please click like button and also share this to your friends. You don't really need this 18650 battery. Instead of that, if you are having 300 milliampere or 500 milliampere lithium-ion battery, small battery, then you, it can also be used. If you are having any doubt or suggestions related to this video, then please comment on this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.